I'm going to tell you this. This is about the one percenters. And I'll explain this to you, okay? If you're doing amazingly well right now, great job. Woo! If you're not doing great right now, guess what? It doesn't matter. Listen, Jim Rohn always says it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. I want you to think about that, okay? Really, think about that. When's the last time you recreated yourself totally? Okay? Like totally recreated yourself. I wrote something on my hand right here, and it says, how do I change my beliefs? I want you to think about this right now. How do you believe about you? I'm asking you, how do you believe about you? I was raised broke, mom left when I was two, five brothers and sisters, raised in the sewer, swear on my life, taught to think freaking small, small, small. Guess what, if you, were, if you had great parents, awesome. Okay, if you were raised with a silver spoon, amazing. But I'm gonna tell you, as you become an adult, you gotta create your own, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you this, how do I create my own beliefs? How does that happen, man? Everybody's telling you guys these stories about you and sometimes you're listening. And a lot of you guys get in your own way from success and that's when you kill yourself. And tonight, we end it. I'm telling you when I say this, and I mean this to you, okay? I swear, some of you guys are this close to making more money than you ever made in your own life, having a better marriage, uh, being better parents, okay? Being closer in spirituality, whatever it is, I don't want to create just people to make more money than they've ever made in their life. I want to create better people. That's it. This is a culture. It's, it's literally a way of life. And a lot of you guys have managers. You left your store and they're like, what's this guy going to teach you how to make more money? No way. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you skill tomorrow that's going to allow you to never get triggered again when someone tells you no. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it's about. Woo, if, you, if you want to dominate it in sales, what are you going to have to get through? The no's. And once you get through the no's, then you can make the sell. Amen. Right. And then when you make the sell, are you collecting all the money? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Right. I want you to think about it though. You don't get in life what you're worth. You, you don't get life what you uh, deserve. You get what you negotiate. Okay, now I want to say this to you. Tomorrow, that's about the negotiation. Tonight, though, I want you to think about how do I change my beliefs? Okay? My coaches that work for me or anybody that I train, I want to tell them whatever they think is going to happen is going to happen. If you don't think big, if you don't think big, and I mean so big that it scares you, you're not going to win big. You're not going to win big. It can't happen. Okay? I want to explain something to you about how a mindset shift works. Hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. Skeptics lose every time. You better not be a skeptic on yourself. Okay? A lot of people see themselves and they're skeptical about do I have what it really takes to make it look when I made 700 grand a year selling cars and I say this I mean way more than that as a GM and I was this guy that everybody labeled that wasn't gonna make it okay but I had something that they couldn't break and that was a belief I believed I could okay and you know what happened people are out right now to take your soul your managers, your GMs, your other salespeople. Hey, how's that training working out for you? They're dying for you to break. Take their soul. Listen to me. When I say take their soul, look at me. Are you guys weak? No. No, you're strong. But how are you when you're not in this group right now? What about when you go back home and you go back into the dealership and the manager says, hey, how'd that deal work out for you? You ain't sold a car in a week. Looks like you wasted your money. He's trying to take your soul. Don't. You know what I want you to do? I want you to say, sir, the day that you think that it's silly to learn, right, is the day I'll go work somewhere else. And he's like, all right, I can't say nothing to that. <laughs> and guess what? You own him. And that guy, the next time before he pops off to you, he thinks, she's, she's quick with her words. I got to watch her. You know why? Because they realize they can't mess with you like they can mess with the other people. Okay? You know how many GMs, managers, and owners I took their souls? How many other salespeople? Other salespeople look at you and they're looking for weakness in you. Okay? Everybody's trying to find a flaw. 
trying to find a hole. Guess what? If they find it, who cares? We're all human. We're going to mess up. It's not about who we are. It's about who we're becoming. You guys understand this, all right? I've had skeptic. I was just talking to Ian just a minute ago, right? And I'm not putting this man on the spot, but I want to tell you this. This guy right here, he came with Aaron Convey the first time. It was in June. Guess what? We're sitting here together, and he's trying his hardest to find a way that he can believe that this training doesn't work. He's trying to find it, and that's his natural. It's okay. Look, I don't get triggered. It doesn't bother me. Anybody in the world can challenge me. It won't change my belief. I want you to understand this. Before I get into his story, everybody has a choice to, ha to be in two states in their life. Two states. There's not three. There's not five. There's two. One is a powerful state. You're strong. You're motivated. You're going to win. Nobody can beat you. You're going to become the best. Nothing can stop you. I'm going to be relentless. Who can beat a relentless person? Nobody. Nobody. I'll break you every single time. You will break everybody every single time. Or you're in a frustrated state or a fear state. That person is discouraged. They have doubt. People will laugh at you. They will tell you you're an idiot. They will tell you that they doubt you. Guess what? That's all fuel. It's all fuel. Yes, sir. Doesn't bother me. I'm past it, guys. But I have to tell you now, before I hit the big wins, I had to get that. There's two states. You're either in a powerful state or you're in a down state. That's it. Never will you be in both states at once. So you got to decide, Aaron Convey, what state are you going to be in at all times? In any time that something happens, how will you deal with it? Will you stay in a powerful state or will you give away in the fear? What will you do? That's it, man. Recreating your own life starts tonight without the skill. I'm going to explain this to you. The skill comes tomorrow, but I swear when I say this, the reason why people are returning again and again, and I want to show you like, and I'm going to talk about Ian for a minute, but the why people come again is because this. How we've been taught to make money in the car business is by working harder, is by working longer hours. So guess what happens? I take this man right here, and you know what he does? He made 6000 last month. He comes to the Master Closer Seminar. He goes home and makes 9000 but he doesn't have time to practice his skill. He doesn't stay plugged into the training. He gets caught up in working. He thinks he's already done the training, so now it's out of the way. Now it's got to be all big bucks from here. You know what happens? Falls back apart. He finds himself trying to scale his money by working more hours, by <coughs> not taking his day off, okay? Literally staring at his phone on a Sunday when he should be with his family. Listen, he's thinking he's going to work more by making more. No, it's in your skill. Listen, if you could close every customer you came in contact with, you'd be worth so much money you wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah. If you could close all of those yeah. people again for all the money after that, you'd be worth so much money. You could work whatever schedule you wanted for the rest of your life. Woo. And that would be the end of it. You could design your own life and it'd be a beautiful life. Woo. I want to share this with you. When I say this to you, you're going to work hard when you go back home. I know it. But the skill, you have to stay plugged in. When you leave, you have to stay plugged in. That's how one percenters live. What does that mean? Okay? Plugged in. plugged in means this. And I'm just going to give you an example. Trayvon Moss, right here, right? Trayvon, how, how many yeah. seminars do you come to? This is with the He's on his 7th or 8th seminar. Wow. Me, Gian, Alex. Woo! Wow. I took him over when he was selling 9 cars a month, right? Struggling. 9 cars. On my way out, bro. He's had $20,000 months now. How old are you, 20? He's 21 years old. He's 21 years old. Listen, hey, do you remember when you told your GM you're going to do training with me? He called you an idiot, didn't he? Guess what? Now yeah, you're his top salesman. Okay? Hey, how many cars did you sell last month? Okay, how much money did you make? A lot. A lot. 15. Okay, look, even on a bad month, 15 grand? He's 21 years old, guys. You want to see this kid at 23? That's oh, what yes. I'm talking about. And by the way, I don't care how old you are. Age doesn't matter. It just matters that you stay plugged in. Right. 
you keep coming. There's going to be a lot of people that aren't here tonight you'll meet tomorrow because they couldn't make it. People that come all the time. Ryan Brunton's been here again. Abdi's right. been here again. Phoenix Work's been here again. Phoenix, I can Colorado. keep going down the line. Caleb's been here again. I was talking specifically about Ian for a minute. Ian trying to pick me apart in my own house talking about, hey, why yeah. are you thinking that you're going to change people's lives? And I'm like, man, to pay for it and get here and still go after it. <laughs> you know, it's okay. But here's my point. Guess what? Ian, how many cars did you average before you came? Uh, about 12 to 15. 15 was good. Okay, 15, was good. 15 good car months. Guess what happens? You weren't really fired up on yourself as staying in the car business long term. Right. Guess what happens? He trains us up for a day. He goes back home. He had two cars out before the seminar, right? Yeah, which was like the ninth, tenth, or something, whatever day it was. That's ninth or tenth. Week, got two cars out. How'd you finish? Thirty-one and a half. Thirty. Woo! Nice. Yeah. He doubled his numbers. Jesus. But listen to me. Hold on. Here's the point. How hard did you work? I worked very hard, but it. How I was mean, your mindset? The mindset was incredible. That's that's, that's what I took from it. Is the mindset. I mean, the I belief. probably worked almost just as hard. Right. I just focused on the things that I needed to work. That was your uh, skill. I made eighteen grand. Listen, Woo! I want to say this to you, and I mean this to you. The next month, okay, they had a quarantine going on as, at his deal because his sister got coronavirus or something. He had a quarantine out. Yeah. Guess what? He missed two weeks of work. How many cars did you sell if you missed two weeks worth? 20 cars. Listen, here's my point. I want to explain this to you. This is just baby food getting, getting started. Where he's going, he's going to 50 or 60 cars a month. Listen, you, but you have to believe. You have to freaking believe. Okay? I got Phoenix Worth right here. And I'm just going to tell you guys this. Okay? This guy was making four grand a month, barely busting his draw. Okay? How many cars did you sell last month? Uh, 32 and a half. How much money did you make? 22 grand. Let's go. How much did you make? 22 grand. He's a puppy. Woo! He's a puppy. And you know what? Here's my point. Okay? We haven't even gotten to this. I'm going to be having seminars five months from now with you guys. And I'm going to hear some stuff like this. Andy, I just made $50,000 last month. Yep. Swear on my life. <laughs> Guys, I average 60 grand, a month, 60 grand a month selling cars. It can be done. I'm no Working different. Four days than a week. Yeah, we work four days a week together. I didn't want to add that part in because that would really piss people. <laughs> okay. Hey, but let me show you something, all right? Here's the deal. Belief. Change, change your belief system. Oh, hey. And by the way, I want to talk about people working in small dealerships for a second. There's some people that are working in small dealerships right now that are thinking that they can't make it. Listen, you can. I sold 70 cars a month at a store selling 70 cars a month. I'm telling you. I swear. Here's my point. I walked in. The owner says the top guy here sells, you know, 12 cars a month. He makes $8,000 on his best month. We're selling 70 cars. My first month, I sell 45. When the tide rises, all ships rise. The store went to 200 because I went in selling 70. Everybody yeah. starts saying, and by the way, when you get better, your competition's going to come for you. When you start getting bigger, faster, stronger, guess what? That's it. They're going to say, yeah, they're going to say, hey, hey, guess what? They're going to say, all right, hold up. Now this guy's coming. Guys, you need to understand this. This is your time, okay? Getting everybody together. Is this not amazing? Yeah, baby. Hey, is it not awesome having this brotherhood, this sisterhood, this family? You know what I'm saying? Guy called me the other day and he goes, he goes, hey, dude, I don't like you guys, man. You guys are like a cult. <laughs> Listen, the funniest thing is when you're actually on the field playing the game, the people sitting on the benches get really pissed off. They get mad. Listen, when you go after your dreams and chase them, the people that have given up on their dreams, they get furious. They want a piece of your ass so bad. So remember this tonight. You're in two states at all times. One, a powerful state. For the rest of your life, remember this. Whether I ever see you again or you don't. It's a choice. You have the choice in life to make this. Somebody's coming at you. Something just happened in your life. 
You just got the worst check, the worst week. It doesn't matter. Where do you stand in that place? Do you stand powerful or do you break and go into fear and scarcity mode? Never. It's a choice. We're not after money. We're after our best life. And I'm going to tell you how to get your best chance. Your best chance is by being in the powerful state. And then secondly, as we finish this off, tomorrow is all about the skill. I would love to see everybody here again many times over. Stay plugged in. But this is the kicker. As you guys all create a friendship with everybody here, I want you guys to know this, man. You're going to see some guys tomorrow that are, I say, I call them silent assassins. <clears throat> you don't know what an elite salesperson looks like. You have no idea. Yeah, you think that they're that guy in that suit and they look great and they've got the <laughs> slick hair and they look like a, a model. They're not. That's they're not. Exactly. Always. I'm telling you right now, it's a guy 65 years old, right? <laughs> Quiet. Hasn't said one word. And just boom. He's so fast and strong. And guess what? His customers love him. It's a younger guy, right? Abdi, 18 years, 19 years old now, right? Three months in the business here. Guess what? Just sitting back, not saying a word. Increasing his skill set. And he's going to go back into his dealership. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to try to break him the first couple months. Remember this. As we end on this, taking souls. Don't you ever in your life let anybody take your soul. They're going to try. They're going to come for it, and they're going to try to break you. Stay hard. Take their soul. Listen, if they're messing with you, and you don't give it to them, you know what will happen? They'll go home at night with their wife and their kids in their warm bed, and they'll sit there, and all they'll do is think about you. Why can't I break that guy? Hey, that's it. Hey. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just want to tell you, number one, I appreciate you. And anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free. It takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.